Seems prisoners are angry because of the crackdown on weapons, drugs, and alcohol in the prison and have been calling people on the outside to tell stories about what they say is going on on the inside. Superintendent Peter White contends that much of what is heard is untrue. Not everything prisoners say from behind the walls of Her Majesty's prison in Grand Turk is true. At least, that is what prison officers said Tuesday during a press conference to inform the public of the launch of an investigation there. There were published reports of brutality, overcrowding, denial of food, water and medical care, sexual misconduct and more as inmates reportedly continue to call people on the outside to report what they feel are injustices on the inside. Prison Superintendent Peter White vehemently denied wrongdoing at the prison and when WIV4 asked him about whether there is truth that one of the juveniles on remand in the murder case of Leslie Aurelis was beaten, he said this. But what I could say that there's no truth to that story. I, 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 I don't want to specifically mention any person, but I could make it clear that to the best of my knowledge, no inmate within Her Majesty's prison has been stabbed at least in recent times since I'm here. None. He asked again, a different way. Was a teenage boy stabbed and then treated while in the custody of the Crown? White? No. That's not the case. No. And in the time in question you refer to, uh, prisoners regularly go to, for treatment at combat. In the time you're referring to, no inmate. <coughs> a particular inmate was seen by the nurse as required, you know, and, but there was no incident of stabbing or anything along that line. So what inspires these reports? How do they happen? On the latter point, inmates get cell phones, among other things, tossed over this tall fence so they are able to communicate with friends, family, or whomever they choose on the outside. Soon Digicel's cell phones will have no signal behind the high gates of the prison. Already, cable and wireless is blocked. And as for confiscations, they will continue. Already, as you can see, there is a growing collection of weapons mobile phones, alcohol, and more being taken in by authorities. It was also stated that if one is caught smuggling anything into Her Majesty's prison, a two-year prison term for him or herself, or a $10,000 fine may be the reward. It was Tuesday that the media was invited to hear from officials after a tour of that Grand Turk facility.